Hey, good morning, Choice Residential. Hope your day's off to a wonderful start. So good news today, we're talking about the new North Carolina Forum Property Showing Agreement. This is a one-page document that you can use when you need to show a home, and this will satisfy the compliance agreement with the NAR settlement terms. So this is a great new addition we have here. Uh, this is a uh, new form as of October 2024. Uh, so let me go through this with you quickly. Uh, quick note, this does not replace the exclusive buyer agency agreement. We'll get to that more in a second. Uh, but this is meant for when you need to show a property to a client without entering into a lengthier, more restrictive um, agreement than the exclusive or non-exclusive buyer agency agreement uh, might provide. All right, so let's dive right in. This is the property showing agreement, and it is form 202 in your forms library. All right, paragraph one, what services are being provided? Um, so oftentimes this form might be used just to show a single property. So you could just literally put an address in here. Uh, but again, this blank, you are putting in the type and or location uh, that you're gonna be showing home. So if you are using this for a broader area, great, you can define it that way. Uh, but again, oftentimes I think this form will get used for a specific address. So feel free to put that address in that blank. Paragraph two, has the buyer signed any other showing or agency agreement? So they're checking yes or no as to whether or not they've um, signed anything else with another agent or firm. This is important because if they've signed an exclusive agency agreement, you can't show them a property. Uh, they may have show, assigned a showing agreement with another agent for that same address, and you need to give thought to whether or not you're going to be able to work with that buyer or not. Uh, because there could be a procuring cause issue if they've seen this property with another agent. So you don't want to go down the road of helping this buyer purchase this home only to later be served with a procuring cause case and have to forfeit that compensation. So uh, if they have seen it with another agent, uh, you might be in a position where unfortunately you just can't help that buyer on that property uh, or you may decide to reach out to that agent and maybe negotiate a referral fee um, in exchange uh, for them not pursuing a procuring cause case later against you. So uh, if that situation comes up, always reach out to me so we can talk through your options. Uh, term of the agreement. So again, you're going to put in some date, um, could be one day, could be a year, could be whatever you want. Um, but keep in mind that uh, the it will terminate on that date. And this is key, unless buyer or firm terminates this agreement earlier by giving written notice. That means Either party has the unilateral right to terminate this agreement. So they may sign this document to go see a home uh, later this afternoon, uh, but then they decide later, oh, they actually don't want to go see it with you. They can simply text you or email you and say, uh, terminating our showing agreement. Uh, and vice versa, you can do the same thing. Let's say you sign this agreement and then you discover that they have seen every property that's on the market by using this type of agreement with other agents and you just don't want to get involved in that you can unilaterally terminate this agreement by providing written notice. All right, paragraph four, fee for showing services. So the form gives you the option to either charge a fee or not charge a fee. If you wanna charge a fee, then you'll check this first box and put whatever that dollar amount is. Notice it's not a percentage, it is a flat fee. Um, and this is a fee for showing the property. So you may charge $50, $100 or whatever you wanna charge there. Um, or you can check the box for no fee. Um, and it says firm may not receive compensation for, from, uh, for showing services from any other source. So if you check this box, um, you are not receiving money from any other source for showing this property. Um, and even if you check the first box, uh, you are not receiving um, uh, compensation from any other source, just from your, from your client. Of course, the fee is negotiable and uh, we operate with no discrimination. And that's it, one page form, much less intimidating for a buyer to sign. Again, most common use is gonna be some type of internet lead or open house guest who wants to go see a property down the street or some other last minute situation where you're trying to be compliant with the NAR settlement rules. What I encourage you to do is simply have a folder in your car, print out a bunch of these guys and put them in there. And so you have that in case you're ever in a situation where you need to show a home. Maybe it's your best friend that wants to go see the house next door and you just wanna make sure you are compliant before you schedule that showing this is a way to make sure you do it. So hopefully this form will be helpful. Again, it is not to replace an exclusive buyer agency agreement. And in fact, it does say in this document here that if you are going to um, 
if the buyer is going to make an offer on this property later, that the firm would likely seek them to sign a, a buyer agency agreement. Uh, so if you use this form just to show the property, make sure that you are elevating it to the Form 201 Exclusive Buyer Agency Agreement before actually writing uh, the offer on behalf of your client. As always, if you have any questions about this or anything else, I'm just a phone call away. Thanks.